morning. So when our four boys were younger, we used to play this awesome game called the sock game. So much fun. And even more fun if you had friends over. And there aren't that many rules. So the only rules are you can't wear your shoes, you have to have socks on, you can't stand up, and you can't leave the room. So you all sit in a circle with your socks, and somebody yells, go! And everybody tries to take everybody else's socks off. <laughs> if you are the last person with a sock on, you win. And then everybody scrambles for their socks and we play again. So we really delight this game. And I love to hear kids laughing. I love it when the kids gang up on the grown-ups. It is so much fun. And you know, we really should be more silly. We should be. So we're going to be a little bit silly right now. So I want everybody to turn to the people on your left and right. And I want you to make a silly face. Grown-ups too, Alan. <laughs> Who's got a silly face? Yes. It's fun to hear laughter, right? And each of my kids went through a joke stage. Usually around seven or eight years old, whenever you know I would see them during that year, they would say, knock, knock. Who's, Who's there? None ya. None ya who? None ya business. <laughs> and they had, I swear, like a hundred knock knock jokes. And I loved it. So, you know, this got me to thinking about Jesus and did Jesus ever laugh? This got me thinking. I try to search the New Testament with all the stories about Jesus. I cannot find one story of Jesus laughing. In fact, this is what somebody wrote about Jesus. There's long been a notion that Jesus never laughed. Traditionally, paintings of Jesus have tended toward melancholy portrayals of a somber, glum Savior. It's written that he was despised and rejected by mankind, a man of suffering and familiar with pain. He was rejected in his hometown, he wept at a friend's graveside, and of course he experienced the cross. However, this does not mean that Jesus never had an occasion to laugh. And I know that Jesus had to have a sense of humor. Do you know why? Because God, the creator, is hysterical. <laughs> giraffes. Have you ever seen a giraffe? Do you think that giraffes had like a short neck in the beginning and God was like, what about a little bit longer? What about a little bit longer? I gotta stretch it all the way out. So funny, right? You can pass those down. Look at this squirrel. Everything that I observe in nature, so many times I am laughing. There's like a dancing kangaroo. Almost looks like he's doing the hula. Or the floss. So, or the floss. That's very current and very nice. Very nice. And this cheetah is laughing all by himself. Look at that cheetah. Terrible, having a good old time. Not just mammals. Look at this owl. This owl is a hoot. <laughs> Grown ups got that, I guess. A little bit of And not just birds. Look at these insects. Those wow. insects are so funny, right? It's a hoot. Squirrel and a bunny. So funny. So, God the Creator has a great sense of humor. So I know that Jesus must have laughed. And a great gift that we've been given by God is laughter. I think we need to laugh more. We need to be more silly. And you know what the best gift you can give somebody, especially somebody who is feeling down, is to make them laugh. So this week, I want you to see how many people can you make laugh after church, after church, after church, throughout the week. Count them. How many can you make laugh? All right, so let's pray. Loving God, we come to you this day with joy in our hearts, lighthearted and laughing. Help us to keep it light this week. Help us to bring joy to one another's lives through jokes, through funny faces, through funny stories. Help us to remember that you are hysterical and that Jesus, your son, most obviously have a great sense of humor. Amen.